When it began producing electric vehicles, Tesla has advanced significantly as it moved through the growth and maturity stages. Kathy Wood, CEO of ARK Invest, claims that EV sales are beginning to outpace overall auto sales as a result of partnerships between ride-hailing services like Uber and automobile rental firms like Hertz to offer EV rentals. Electric car use has significantly increased, and this trend is anticipated to last for some time. The maintenance expenses for EVs are 50 to 60 percent lower than those for gas-powered vehicles, which is one of the reasons why the majority of auto owners currently opt to purchase them. Dave Lee, a Tesla bull and YouTuber, recently explained why he still believes strongly in Tesla. It's not only because of the automobiles, either. According to Dave Lee, Tesla's market will be primarily driven by four industries, EVs, FSD, energy, and AI. Even while Tesla is more well-known for its advancements in electric vehicles and fully autonomous driving, the company has made great success in all areas. Yet, despite analysts' predictions that Tesla will make significant profits from both of these endeavors, the company has not yet made significant progress in its energy and intelligence sectors. The solar division of Tesla could be a key factor in the company's growth in 2021. The company's energy generation and storage division, which sells three primary products, Solar Energy, the Powerwall Energy Storage System, and the Megapack, reported $801 million in revenue. There will still be opportunities to properly optimize the business, even though Tesla has not been entirely focused on its solar business. Gary Black, a stock investor, forecasts that Tesla Energy will generate $20 billion in revenue and $8 billion in gross profit in 2023. He claims that this is one catalyst that is not widely understood, and that this is so since Tesla Energy has not before made a significant contribution in the same way. When Tesla fully masters its AI technology, its revenue will also rise significantly. How big will Tesla be in the future, according to Dave Lee? This video has further information. But first, if you enjoy this kind of information, press the like button, subscribe, and enable notifications to be informed about what Tesla is doing. Tesla is currently regarded as the world's largest manufacturer, but it's crucial to remember that demand for its electric vehicles is continually rising. As customers will spend the majority of their time in their vehicle's interiors, the carmaker intends to modernize the entire interior to make it more contemporary and straightforward. In Dave Lee's opinion, this is one area where Tesla still has a competitive advantage over its rivals. He had stated that getting even better improvements won't be a problem for quite some time, because Tesla is already experienced with the procedure. Model I crossovers with an improved suspension system have been manufactured by Tesla in Shanghai. According to Tesla, the elastic and damping parts of the Model Y suspension system have been optimized to lessen bumps at low speeds and enable a more stable ride at high speeds. Model Ys are now produced at this factory and come with the updated suspension system. Tesla has improved the compression damping of the Model Y's shock absorbers, enabling the car to travel through low speed impact areas with less damping force, resulting in fewer jolts and a smoother, more stable ride. With the suspension upgrade, the stiffness of the top of its shock absorbers has increased by 50% compared to the previous settings, filtering out a greater degree of road impact on the vehicle. The Model Y, which is made in China, has a 5-link independent rear suspension with strong stability. The Tesla Model 3 of 2024 is also anticipated to have an upgraded drivetrain that will produce a few more electrical horsepower than previously. It's unclear if the Model 3 sedan built in China is also employing the upgraded suspension system because Tesla's Shanghai plant, its largest in the world by capacity, also produces the Model Y. In order to improve safety, battery cost, and dependability for its electric vehicles, Tesla still has a lot of work to do. And this, according to Dave Lee, may be the reason Tesla is delaying the launch of its next generation vehicle. According to Dave Lee, the new Tesla model is projected to increase demand for Tesla across all of its markets globally because it is reportedly less expensive than the Model 3 and Model Y Tesla will be able to sell more cars and generate more income as it decreases the price of its vehicles, 
which will increase its entire addressable market. It is important to keep in mind that Musk believes Tesla's total addressable market to be as large as the entire human population on Earth, so Tesla will likely lean toward affordability rather than profit maximization when making this car, despite concerns about how profitable and affordable this new generation vehicle will be for Tesla. Another potential for Tesla to grow its market is through the robotaxi. This makes room for those who are unable to afford a vehicle of their own, allowing them to participate in the Tesla ecosystem even if they are unable to purchase a Tesla. Dave Lee has always concurred that generally Tesla has more leverage. He claims that Tesla wants to expand beyond regional shipping while utilizing its many competitive advantages. Tesla will benefit from having a head start on self-driving technology. Lee claims that Tesla is utilizing its motor advancements from past work with other technologies. It incorporates it into its products in the areas of electronics, inverters, powertrains, and many more. According to him, Tesla will continue to rely on engineering innovation to expand and develop, which will lead to slow but steady advancement over the ensuing years. The same ideas are also held by Adam Jonas, a Morgan Stanley analyst. In a recent letter, the stock expert predicted that Tesla would win the fight for electric vehicles in 2023, despite the fact that it is currently facing unsettling demand slumps. He predicts that 2023 will signal a market reset for electric vehicles, with the previous two years' trend of demand outpacing supply being significantly reversed. According to Jones, the market for electric vehicles will have unique difficulties in the months to come, which is consistent with the industry's experience in 2022. He continued, Battery supply chain crises have dominated boardroom strategy sessions, and there are obstacles to overcome with a worsening macro environment, record high in affordability, and increased competition. Yet, Adam Jones said that despite all of these obstacles, he still has faith as it uses its cost and scale advantages to separate itself from the competition, Tesla will extend its lead in the battle for electric vehicles. Others, though, are not as optimistic about Tesla's future as Jonas is, despite his continued bullishness. In a recent report, Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives noted that, despite a favorable market environment since 2018, Tesla is expected to face significant macroeconomic and corporate-specific competition challenges in the U.S. and China starting in 2023. In response to a potential global recession, he claimed that even though Tesla is lowering its prices and building up global inventories, its CEO is not giving the company enough attention. According to Dave Lee, Tesla will benefit from exponential technologies. In addition to a battery with a longer range than rivals, Tesla intends to offer a new quick charging technology. Its DC fast charging method uses a water-based coolant to deliver up to one megawatt of power while ensuring safety. The customer pickup vehicle that Tesla is designing, the Cybertruck, will be powered by this charging technology. Commenting on Tesla's semi, David Lee claimed that for shipping firms, saving money on gasoline is only topped by saving money on paying actual people a fair wage to transport something to another site, but both are easily accomplished with the Tesla Semi. Also, Tesla is the only business in the world that is actively developing an effective general driving solution based on AI. The automaker's FSD software is progressively nearing its peak level, and it is anticipated that Tesla cars will be totally autonomous in a few years. Making its vehicles totally autonomous is one of Tesla's main objectives, and the carmaker is using big data and AI to achieve this. Why are you still bullish on Tesla as a Tesla supporter? Please let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to share your opinion of Tesla.